Hi-Cal is a combination medication that is used to prevent or treat low blood calcium levels in people who do not get enough calcium from their diets. It may be used to treat conditions caused by low calcium levels such as bone loss, weak bones, decreased activity of the parathyroid gland, and a certain muscle disease. It may also be used in certain patients to make sure they are getting enough calcium, including women who are pregnant, nursing, or postmenopausal, and people taking certain medications such as phenytoin, phenobarbital, or prednisone. Calcium plays a very important role in the body, as it is necessary for normal functioning of nerves, cells, muscle, and bone. If there is not enough calcium in the blood, then the body will take calcium from bones, thereby weakening them. Vitamin D helps your body absorb calcium and phosphorus, and having the right amounts of vitamin D, calcium, and phosphorus is important for building and keeping strong bones. The daily dosage and optimal time to take HiCal will vary depending on your individual needs and medical condition, so it's important to follow your doctor's instructions carefully. Remember to discuss any concerns or questions about HiCal with your healthcare provider. When taking HiCal, it's important to follow the directions for the best results. If your product contains calcium citrate, you can take it with or without food. However, for best absorption, it's recommended to divide your dose and space it throughout the day if your total daily dose is more than 600 mg. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask your doctor or pharmacist. If you're using the liquid form, be sure to carefully measure the dose using a special measuring device slash spoon. Avoid using a household spoon, as it may not provide the correct dose. If you're taking the chewable form, chew thoroughly before swallowing. And if you're taking capsules, swallow each one whole. It's also important not to crush or chew extended release tablets, as this can increase the risk of side effects. Take the whole tablet without crushing or chewing. To get the most benefit from HiCal, it's important to use it regularly. Try to take it at the same time each day to help you remember. If your doctor has recommended a special diet, it's crucial to follow it in order to get the most benefit from the medication and prevent serious side effects. And unless specifically ordered by your doctor, avoid taking other supplements or vitamins. There are different forms of calcium supplements that contain different amounts of calcium and vitamin D. Ask your doctor or pharmacist to help you select the best product for you. And finally, if you think you may have a serious medical problem, seek medical help right away. Some common side effects of HiCal may include constipation or stomach upset. If any of these effects last or get worse, it's important to talk to your doctor or pharmacist. Your doctor has prescribed this medication because they believe that the benefits outweigh the potential risks. Most people taking HiCal do not experience serious side effects. However, it's important to contact your doctor immediately if you experience any of the following, nausea slash vomiting, loss of appetite, unusual weight loss, mental slash mood changes, signs of kidney problems, bone slash muscle pain, headache, increased thirst, increased urination, weakness, tiredness, or fast-slash-pounding heartbeat. While a serious allergic reaction to HiCal is rare, seek medical help right away if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, such as rash, itching-slash-swelling, especially of the face-slash-tongue-slash-throat, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so it's important to contact your doctor or pharmacist if you notice any other effects. It's important to follow your doctor's instructions for the daily dosage of HiCal. Typically, it is best to take this medication at the same time each day to maintain a consistent level in your body. If you have any concerns about the timing or dosage, be sure to discuss them with your doctor. Before taking HiCal, it's important to talk to your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies or medical conditions. This includes allergies to vitamin D products, difficulty absorbing nutrition from food, heart or blood vessel disease, kidney disease, immune system disorders, liver disease, certain bowel diseases, or conditions that require you to limit sugar or aspartame in your diet. It's also important to discuss with your doctor if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. It's important to follow your doctor's advice for the best time to take this medication and the daily dosage that's right for you. Drug interactions can change how your medications work or increase your risk for serious side effects. It's important to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. 
Some products that may interact with HiCal include digoxin and phosphate binders. Calcium can decrease the absorption of other drugs such as tetracycline antibiotics, bisphosphonates, estramostine, levothyroxine, and quinolone antibiotics. Also, certain medications can decrease the absorption of vitamin D. It's best to separate your doses of these medications as far as possible from your doses of calcium slash vitamin D. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about how long you should wait between doses and for help finding a dosing schedule that will work with all your medications. Check the labels on all your prescription and non-prescription slash herbal products because they may contain calcium, phosphate, or vitamin D. Ask your pharmacist about using those products safely. Vitamin D is very similar to calcitriol. Do not use medications containing calcitriol while using vitamin D, HiCal may interfere with certain lab tests, possibly causing false results. Make sure lab personnel and all your doctors know you use this product. If someone has taken too much HiCal and is experiencing severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical help. In the U.S., you can call the Poison Control Center at 1-800-222-1222, and in Canada, residents can call a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of an overdose may include nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, changes in mood or mental state, headache, drowsiness, weakness, and tiredness. When taking high cal, it's important to have regular medical tests to check your calcium levels. Make sure to keep all your doctor's appointments and consult with them for more information. It's also important to include foods rich in vitamin D and calcium in your diet. Foods high in vitamin D include fortified dairy products, eggs, sardines, cod liver oil, chicken livers, and fatty fish. Your body can also produce vitamin D when exposed to sunlight. Foods rich in calcium include dairy products like milk, yogurt, cheese, and ice cream, as well as dark green leafy vegetables such as broccoli, spinach, and bok choy. You can also find calcium in fortified foods like orange juice. To reduce the risk of bone disease, make sure to stay physically active, avoid smoking, and limit your alcohol and caffeine intake. It's recommended to take HiCal at the same time every day, and the dosage will depend on your specific needs. Be sure to follow your doctor's instructions for the best results. If you forget to take a dose of HiCal, take it as soon as you remember. If it's almost time for your next dose, just skip the missed dose and take the next one at your regular time. Don't take double the dose to make up for the missed one. Make sure to store HiCal at room temperature, away from light and moisture. It's important to keep it out of the bathroom and away from children and pets. When you no longer need HiCal or it's expired, make sure to properly discard it. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for the best way to do so. Remember, never flush medications down the toilet or pour them into a drain unless instructed to do so. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.